For many French police officers, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. These scenes from early October show the aftermath of an attack in the Parisian suburb of Viry Châtillon. A mob set upon police vehicles with Molotov cocktails, seriously injuring two officers. The police have borne the brunt of the recent wave of attacks in France. They are charged with the protection of citizens, but who is protecting them? Such a question was raised when, in June, a commander and his partner were murdered in a gruesome knife attack at their home. The French interior minister himself acknowledged the targeting of police, saying that Commander Jean-Baptiste Salvin was killed because he was a police officer, and Jessica Schneider died because she was an officer's partner. Last week saw the beginning of police protests when thousands of officers took to the streets. They claim they are being targeted but lack the ability to retaliate. While they do carry guns, they are unwilling to fire them for fear of disciplinary action and allegedly lack non-lethal arms to defend themselves. We want equipment, he says. We want a bigger workforce. We want suitable assignments. We aren't just looking for support. We want action. But are the French police any worse off than their colleagues in other European states? Well, on face value, not particularly. In terms of force size, they are less in number than Spanish, Italian and German forces, but more numerous than in Belgium. In terms of yearly budget, France spends less on each officer than England and Germany, but more than Spain and Italy. The difference, however, lies in the rate of crime. Figures show that France sees 1.2 homicides per 100,000 inhabitants, well above the average in the surrounding areas. Similarly, more violent robberies are reported in France than neighbouring Italy, Britain and Germany. Even if they are no more under-equipped than officers in other European forces, it is clear that the French police are under an increasing amount of stress, perhaps worsened by the prolonged state of national emergency. In a political climate where it is the quantity of arrests and not the quality that counts, as many officers feel is the case, the men in blue are in desperate need of relief.